Hi everybody. I posted this picture a couple weeks ago or a week or so ago, and I wanted to explain what it meant. So Rebecca, Rebecca sort of explained it too. And I, I wanted to just add a little bit more to it. So as Rebecca said, it comes from the, a, a language called Yiddish that has, is used within English because it's, it has some nuance of meaning that regular English words don't have. So it's really fun to use these words. Um, and they're fun to say, schlep, but they have a lot of like sh with, with a consonant sound like schmooze and schlep, but schl, you know, all these different fun sounds. So in this case, it's, it's a grocery store called Lidl or Lidl, I guess it's pronounced Lidl. From shopping to schlepping, we've got you covered. Order groceries online from shoplidl.com. So it's telling you, order your groceries online. Why is it saying that? Okay, so schlep, to so schlep means, if you look it up, it says to carry or drag or lug. So it's like carrying something around, but it, it also has this sort of negative feel like, oh, you have to schlep, you know, I gotta schlep my, my kids around today. I've gotta take them here and there. I've gotta schlep my, my bags or my, my suitcases in the airport. I have to schlep them. And so they're saying, if you order online, we'll shop for you and we will schlep. You won't have to do the schlepping, take your, your groceries, schlep them to your car and then drive home and schlep them back into your house again. We will do that for you. We've got you covered. Okay. So that's what it means from shopping to schlepping. Now, now Yiddish, um, is like Rebecca said, it comes, it's, it's a cross between German and Hebrew. And it was brought to the United States by um, Jewish immigrants and refugees during World War II often and after World War II. And a lot of them settled up in New York, New Jersey, and the upper uh, Northeast. So you see a lot more words like this up there than you do here. I'm in Georgia. I don't know where you are and I don't know whether you ever see words like this, but, um, they're a lot of fun. That's a really, really rich, fun language. Um, and, and it's mixed into English because there's a lot of nuance to it that English words a lot of times don't have. So it's like, you can't really say this in regular English. This, this word has a nuance to it. Like I said, that it's like, it's sort of a negative meaning of of carrying something. So anyway, I hope that helps. I hope it was interesting and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.